Those people such as myself that want to transfer their vinyl records, cassette tapes, or any other kind of audio format to the digital realm can easily do so, so long as you have new equipment. Using your turntable or cassette deck's built-in USB output is quite an easy way to transfer your music, be it vinyl records, cassette tapes, or any other analog format, to the digital realm. Unlike the Audio-Technica ATL-P60, which is many decades newer than this cassette deck, this Technics M218 only has analog RCA outputs for the audio. Enter the Behringer UCA202 USB audio interface. My particular example looks like it was subjected to some kind of extreme heat. No clue what happened there. There's an optical SPDIF audio output, a 3.5mm stereo phones jack, which has its own independent volume control for monitoring the audio being recorded by or played back through this thing. There is a switch for turning on and off the monitoring functionality through the headphone output and you have stereo RCA inputs and outputs. And because it uses just a regular old USB-A type connection, there's no fuss to connecting it to any kind of a machine, be it a MacBook, a desktop, or something that this audio interface is a perfect match with. This computer lacks a line input or proper microphone input and just has this chintzy headset input. And for no particular reason other than this is the only machine I have that currently has a charged battery, let's connect this thing up to a Mac and see how it performs. Well, we have a green light. That's encouraging. The uh, USB interface is connected and working. We could select it as both an input or an output. And look at that, we're recording and those level meters are totally zeroed out. No background noise, no hiss, no interference, 100% quiet. Now thanks to the wonders of modern day technology, or at least technology from 2001, we can output the audio from our cassette deck, which was previously analog only through the RCA outputs, and record crystal clear and just about studio quality digital audio. What's nice about this is, again, as previously mentioned, you can monitor the audio as it's being recorded independent of your computer by connecting up regular headphone cable and a set of headphones and control the volume independently of the volume at which the audio is being recorded and playing back on your PC or Mac. Now, likewise, if I set the output of my Mac to go through the Behringer USB audio codec as it's listed in system preferences, and now I can play back audio through the Behringer using the RCA outputs and also the headphone jack to monitor bypassing my Mac's built-in sound card and the same would be applicable for a Windows PC. Well, doing things over on Windows is more or less the same as it is on their Mac. It would be very easy and quick for me to demonstrate that fact were it not for the fact that uh, Apparently Windows 7 is still receiving automatic updates and it just decided to start updating itself so I can't do anything until it's finished updating. Things are more or less just the same as they are under Mac. Okay, that doesn't sound good. The Behringer plays back audio at three different quality settings depending on your personal preferences, all with a bit depth of 16. Sampling rates varying from 3200 Hz all the way up to 4800 Hz and of course the CD quality standard of 44.1 kHz. Under recording there are quite a number of other quality settings available going all the way down to uh, dictation quality with a ridiculously low sampling rate all the way up to 2 channel 16 bit 4800 Hz DVD quality. Oh yeah, note to self, make sure you turn down the levels in the Windows Sound Mixer because this was set to 100% when I started, which uh, is equivalent to plus 30 dB of gain. So I just got to bring that down all the way to negative 0.4. I can't zero it out for some reason, but that's close enough. And now, just like that, we're ready to begin transferring our cassette tapes with the utmost of quality and clarity, as opposed to using just the laptop's built-in sound card. And just like that, I could press play.
comes as news to me that there exists a newer version of the Behringer UCA 202, referred to as the UFO 202, and this model includes a built-in photo preamp for digitizing vinyl records, something that uh, the older UCA 202 that has been the subject of this video regrettably lacks. And the addition of a phono input on the newer model is a moot point to people that have newer turntables with built-in phono preamps such as myself, is you could just run that right into the older UCA202, have the turntable do the phono preamplification, and you're ready to go recording a line level ready source. Without further ado, I'll present some brief samples of audio recorded using the Behringer UCA202, though obviously it's safe to say that uh, the audio quality of this is going to be largely dependent on the source, so in this case being that I'm recording the output of a cassette deck and usually a Type 1 normal bias cassette tape with Dolby B turned on, it's not going to sound as good as perhaps recording the output of a CD player, so just keep that in mind. Some folks is happy to be just what they is All the folks, they gotta have more Some folks is happy to just have them a house Others want windows and a door Some folks, some folks want more Some folks is happy just to have bare feet Other folks gotta have socks some folks is happy with just one pair of socks Other folks gotta have lots Some folks ain't sure Then the birdles settled back into their comfortable shells Furred frowns